Hi guys, um, this is Chip and Guardians Adventures and also Mystery Angels. Um, I'm doing it on both channels to say to you, come at 11 a.m. UK time, I'm going to go live and we're going to be discussing the Summerwells case. Um, so I want to give you a heads up early. It is now here 8.19, okay? So I want to put these videos out and give you a heads up. So this one, this is, uh, I had to wait till my neighbour, like my neighbour came home and I asked her, could she come and help me? And she said, yeah. So um, let me explain this whiteboard to you first. So this whiteboard's going to be all the people that were at home at the time that someone went missing, right? From Summer's house and that lot, right? All the pets that they've um, accumulated and what's around the area. All um, candies... Uh, and H and H mum was the last that saw Summer alive. Um, we've got the wildlife, what's actually in the wildlife in Hawkins County and in the area of where the Wells lives, right? We've got um, the, the venomous snakes and all that lot, the coyotes, the hogs, how many bears they are. Um, I also looked up about the bears and what they do, which we'll talk more in detail. Also about the red truck that everyone keeps talking about. And I found that there's two people in the area that had the red truck that was in the area at the time. So there's a 61-year-old in Ben Hill Road. Um, there's a 61-year-old guy who owns a red truck. We don't know if his family uh, drives it, if any of his family members come up and see him and drive it and stuff like that. I'm hoping the police would have dealt with that because if I can find it, anyone can find it. Also, there was a guy that brought some land that had an argument with one of the neighbours who also had a red truck that was there that day because he had brought the land and he was buying the land and he thought that they were throwing in the creek and they're saying, no, the creek's not yours. So they had a big fight about it. And there's also another uh, red car exactly the same as what was described in the, in the truck um, in Beach Creek Road which was another neighbour who has them trucks. Now, the reason why these trucks are, are more around that area is because of the state of the roads and stuff, especially up to the Wells' house, okay? And not many trucks can, you know, do it. There's also this guy, the, the three-month-old friend, who got called because Candice couldn't find the teacher, okay? She tried to contact the teacher. So um, the reason why I put question marks is... The reason why we did that was um, because at the time someone went missing, they didn't know where she was. They couldn't contact her. So they contacted this uh, David Donson, uh, Dodson or whatever his name is. But he says, when he's done an interview, it's on YouTube, you can look it up. This is why I'm telling you early, so you can look it up. Um, he's only known the family for three months. He's already taken the boys out to do... Um, there's pictures of him. I showed you on the last one to do... Um, like you know some games and stuff like that however he says that the video that was shown to him by candies was the swimming hole with summer and her brothers so that's going to be an interesting one to talk to because he's actually come on live and said that um that don and candice knew that he was going to tell him about this video so whether that's true or not is another matter but like I said, you can go and find that. Um, so there's a question mark. Also, the eight mile house that Candy said in the interview with Chris says that um, he has the mum to the puppies that Candice has got. Right? Also, the fact is, the tree cutters. Okay? Also, the tree cutters were there. H, when the time that uh, Summer went missing, H was at his girlfriend's house, according to him. H's mum got a phone call off H saying that someone was missing. Then you've got the dogs and cats, right? Here you've got who saw Summer last. And there's a reason why I didn't put... Uh, grandma down there's a reason why for that so 
Um, so there's the trucks and that. Then there's the coyotes and, and, and what kind of animals were there. I looked at all the breeds. I looked at could a five-year-old child like spook them, what would happen if they were spooked, stuff like that, which we will talk more in depth. Because, like I said, I don't know much about humans and human stuff and that, but I do know about animals a lot, as you've seen. I've got my service dog, Guardian, and I've had a service dog since I was little. And at the end of the day, I know about dogs and, and animals and stuff and behaviour. So, yeah, so I can put my forward. Right? It's also the sheds. They keep talking about the trucks, the sheds. Right? Um, We're going to be talking about the searchers who search in what, where and when, including the psychics, dogs, searchers, police, FBI, everyone else is how, how much. We're also going to be talking about um, the dog's behaviour, the last photograph seen, about the car, about the milk about uh, grandma, about the drink, the twisted tea, about grandma's car and why Candice didn't take her car and took her mum's car instead to drive her mum. What kind of animals were in the wild, stuff like that, right? So so that's pretty much what we're going to be discussing and stuff like that. Um, now, what I want you to understand is Mystery Angels is not about, we're not here to be responsible for finding summer. That's the job of the police and the psychics and stuff like that. What I want to do is put forward on our channel a load of ideas. It's an idea channel. What we think, what we feel, why we feel a certain person. So say you say, oh, I think it was the mum. Then um, say, say why you think it's the mum. Um, say what, what you've seen on TV or what you've seen to the con conclusion of that, right? Every single person's thought process will be valued, no matter what breed, creed or country you come from, right? Um, anything goes. The most outlandish thing that could happen, you bring it forward. I will also be doing live interviews with you if you want. Um, if you're able to do that and that, and then we can go live and Skype and I can talk to you and, and stuff like that as well. Um, we can talk about your theories and thoughts because that's all it is, theories and thoughts and behaviours and what we think. It's nothing, we're not professionals and maybe some will be professionals that join us. It's not about um, people slagging each other off for their thoughts. It's about releasing your thought process, releasing what you think. Um, you know, it's about saying what you need to say because a lot of people get frustrated when they're not allowed to say what they need to say. Why are you hiding me? What are you shutting me up for? We're not here to run around getting photographs of, um, like the Wells' house, the home and everything. We allow that to everyone else to do. We're just going to take the evidence that we can get off TV, off everything else, um, what we think, our, our behaviour, thoughts, patterns, uh, why we think this. And you just say what you need to say. The only thing you'll be banned for is if you um, do it because of maliciousness or you attack one of our people in our chat, in our chat rooms or anything like that or skip them because of the way they think. Now, if you disagree, you can disagree. But there's a way to disagree with people, right? This isn't about saying, listen, you stupid, dumb, blah, blah, blah. That's not the way it works because of this. You can't do that. You'll be you'll be blocked. And to be honest, guys, this is going to be a really good channel. So please don't get yourselves blocked, right? Because you could have the answer. You could Your, your way of thinking could be the way. You're sitting there on your own thinking, but this is this. Oh, if only I could get it out. But this is your chance. This is the channel to do it on. Mystery Angels is about the mystery. And it's about what you think about the mystery and how you would go about it and what you think about it and stuff. It has nothing to do with evidence or if you want to put evidence forward, you can. But there's nothing to do with evidence and, and what people... It's about the way what you think, what you've heard, what your conclusions are. It's about value, valuing your own thought process, your own feelings, your own anger. It's about valuating that. And everyone else in our group will valuate 
with you or value you. You know what I mean, right? I have autism learning difficulties. I have a lot of problems understanding stuff. So I'm so grateful when people on our group turn around and say, hey, Chip, actually, I think he meant this, that or the other. No problem. Thank you so much. You have no need to fear because, like I said, it, we're not theorists. We're not... Um, people who are going to dag any religions or anything like that but if you think it is a religious thing and you 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 want to say it and you want to say why then go ahead you're more than welcome as long as you don't do it maliciously and don't do it just to spite somebody then you have no reason to fear just say it and we're not going to be phoning the police saying, oh, we think it could be this. We've all got together as a group and this is what we think. We're not going to be doing that. What we're going to do is we're going to put it up on YouTube. And if the police want to watch it, they can. They can see it. If they see it and they see they like something there or something like that, want to contact one of us, that's fine. If everyone's in agreement, that's fine. If they don't and they want to ignore us, that's fine. But as long as we get our point of view across, as long as we get it out there, and 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 if it is that one of us was right ages before the police found it, we're not going to sit there and go, ah, we're better than the police or anything like that. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is say, OK, well, why did this person know? What was it that they did? And it might help the police understand there's another way of doing things. It might and it might not. It might be just a, a gang of people get together and just blurt out whatever they want to blurt out. It don't matter. What matters is that we all work together from all around the world in all different race, creeds, cry. If you're if you're a person who doesn't fit, then you're fit. Okay, you'll fit here. You won't be judged here of your thought process and what you think and feel. It's not about race, colour, creed, whether you're rich, poor, whether you you're educated or not, it's not about that. This channel, this channel's about you and the way you think and feel and what you really believe. So if you guys like that idea, like the idea of just being yourself, not being judged, like the idea of putting things together, thought process together, help each other out. Um, like if. I do something like don't understand something you want to correct me on it that is no problem do it um it's just a mystery channel with mysteries okay we're going to put our own mysteries our own stories forward it's not the be end and end all it's not I think I can cure this I can find uh missing people I can find the mystery and the answers to it this ain't this channel this channel isn't we think we're detectives or anything like that all we are are angels who want justice in the world want to help but can't because we're trapped either by um living too far or by not being able to say anything because you get sued and stuff on this channel you won't and anyone tries to sue anyone in this channel you'll be blocked and they'll be backed up so there's you say what you need to say okay just follow the guidance of the law follow the guidance of youtube follow the guidance so we don't get in trouble we follow all the guidance of youtube if you don't understand the guidance go and learn the guidance right like like i had to do um we're not here to attack each other's thought process we're here to embrace people's thoughts embrace what people think and like I said, we're not here to phone the police and say, we think it's this because this is our evidence. We're not here to find evidence. We're here just to say, this is the way I think it is. This is who I think it is. And this is why I think it is. By just what we've seen on YouTube and that we're not detectives. We're not going to be detectives. We're not saying we'll find them. That's up to the psychics and, and the searches and the police and the police dog searches and all, all the professionals. That's up to them to deal with. We're not dead. We're not going to be in their way. We're not going to um, like phone them up and make them go off in a different direction. We're not going to do that. What we are going to do is put it on, on our channel. And then, so if you've got a video, send it to me and I'll put it on the channel for you. Right? But if you're, if you're going to be one of the angels, the actual angels, you'll be able to have access to this channel. So you can put your your videos on there that you want to put on. Okay. All I ask you to do is follow the YouTube rules, follow the rules, don't interrupt the police, don't talk to the police. 
only if you've got credible evidence, obviously, if you've seen something or something, talk to the police, Jesus. But what I'm saying is, even if we come up with someone and we come up with a name and we come up with everything, then what we're going to do is put a star, a, a colour star on their, on their names and then we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But at the minute, all we're going to do is we're just going to do our own thing, think our own thing. It's going to be our own channel. And if the police want to come in and have a look, then they can um, and see the way people are thinking and feeling and stuff. No problem. If they want to take something from it, no problem. But they don't need to tell us. Just do it because we're not about that. We're not saying we're going to find it. We're not saying anything, but we're going to do everything we can to find out who, what, when and where. And if we can't, we can't. If we can, we can. There's no pressures, no nothing on us. There's no, we have to find this child. There's nothing like that. We have to find this ad missing adults. It's nothing like that. Uh, we can talk to family members so the family members can say what they think rather than the police saying, look, actually, you can't say that. That's not our channel. You say what you think. This is a thinking channel. This is a channel of mystery, right? And this is a channel of not gaslighting or anything like that. This is a channel of saying, this is who I think did it and why I think it, they did it. End of. There's no attacking the person. There's no saying, right, let's all go out there and sort it out. We're not getting involved with the police. We're not getting involved with anything to do with the law. It's just a, a, a load of people around the world getting together and thinking and feeling and talking about things that are a mystery. And this is a mystery. Right? And if any of our stuff can help, then great. So I'm going on at 11 a.m. UK time. Okay? And it's going to be the Mystery Angels channel that we'll be going live on. Okay? And it's all to do with somewhere else. We're going to concentrate on whatever it leads us to concentrate on. I'm hoping it can, we can concentrate on the basic first and work our way through. Um... This is the, the board I showed you is what I've learned from listening to people and people's findings and stuff like that. But I'm not going to put on what I'm not going to do is put on what channel. That's your job to find out what channel. And, and I don't want us to mention any channels unless it's something that is like very important. Right. Then you can mention it. But apart, unless the channel wants us to mention them. But apart from that, we won't be. We'll be taking bits off channels. So say this one. So let me give you an egg to help you out. So say this one, right? Um, this one was founded by a channel, right? And it says Ben Hill Road, um, like 61-year-old, right? And it says that it, they had the car... Um, they've always had the car there, the neighbours, um, stuff like that. Um, we don't know about their family. Do they, they live with anyone? Are they on their own? Stuff like that, because they didn't tell us that. All that. This is all the information we got. So this is all the information we've got to work on. We're not going to guess the information and say, oh, yeah, he's got some living women when we don't know. So because I got that from that channel, that, that's all the channel gave us. That's the only thing they gave us about the red truck. Same with that one. The same channel said they were looking and got that idea as well, okay? Their neighbours and stuff like that. And as we get more and more on, as we become more and more uh, good at it, and as our channel grows more and more and stuff, there'll be more and more people. Everybody is welcome. If you feel, oh, I'm not going to be accepted in this, and you are accepted. You are welcome. From someone who's on their own to someone who isn't, to, to families, to... You're welcome. The only time you'll be blocked is if you become aggressive with anyone else or skit anybody else of their point of view. Everyone will respect everyone's point of view and will listen and will understand their point of view. And if anyone needs me to discuss, they don't want to come on and discuss it, but they've got ideas, then I'm um, at the minute you can use the um, Chip and Guardian's Twitter account and just give me a Twitter or... Um, stuff like that okay um, 
I will be putting emails out and stuff like that once I set it up. But at the minute, it's a new channel, so I need to get as many people as I can first before setting everything up. Okay? It's a free channel to join. At the moment, it's totally free. Everything's free to join at the moment. Um, if you want to be part of this channel and be a producer or something like that, or you've got any ideas, come forward. No problem. And let's see if we can grow this. But remember, this is a mystery channel. This is not a I can find missing people channel. This is not a detective channel. This is not an ex-detective channel. This is not um, a promise that we can find things. This is not about getting involved with the police and what they're doing. Um, yes, we're interested in what the police are doing and what they've done, but it's not important. What's important is what we feel and think and our investigations and our thought process, right? We're not playing um, detectives or anything like that. We're just putting forward what we think of the situation, what we feel of what people are saying and what we think. I'm coming to, coming to a conclusion of who, where, when and what. And that's it. And then we'll just wait and see. We're not getting involved with the police. We're not going to go down to the places to find... Um, like go on the Wells' property, take photographs, stuff like that, because other people are doing that. We don't need to do none of that. We don't need to get involved in anything like that. What we do is we use what is given to us on TV, on, on YouTube, on, on Google search, uh, Google Maps, whatever. Whatever we've got that illegal, we use. Okay? That's it. It's not about stalking. It's not about finding if they're telling the truth or not. It's not about who did it and who didn't do it in respect of we want to find the guilty and bring them to justice. It's not about that. It's about how we feel, how we think, who we think, why we think. And like I said, if the police want to come on to our station and have a look, it's fine. No problem. Take what you need if it's going to help. OK, we're not responsible. It's not our job to to find or whatever. Now, let's say someone says something and the police go, oh, oh this person's actually close to what we're thinking and they want to get in touch. It's up to you. It, again, it's up to you. It's up to the police, up to what you want to do. You could be around the world, you see. This is what I'm saying. So it's up to you. OK, you, you're not. If you say no, then it's no. Uh, you will all be kept private for as long as you want it to be so this is just about us banging together ideas and dashboarding and stuff like that so if you're interested in that and you're not wanting to be responsible to find anybody or do anything but you just have ideas yourself then please come along that that's what we're there for okay just for you to have your opinion your voice and not be scared to say it because you never know. Okay, guys. So I shall see you live at 11 o'clock over at Mystery Angels. Okay? And uh, please stay safe till then. We'll see you in a while, Crocodile.